see that timer over there? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create that effect. My name is Rico Richardson, and let's start. Okay, my friends, we're in DaVinci Resolve right now. I've imported some footage. It's a guy playing on his phone and on his screen. And if I start, there's a no actual time code right now, but I'm going to show you how. So what you need to do is make sure that the effects library pops up. You go to titles and then you've got text plus. Drag it on top of the clip. Let's drag this out through the entirety of the clip. Now without changing the text, all you need to do is hit the right mouse button and then go to time code. And now you see we have a time code. Yay. So let's play it. There you go. But it's it's got all these numbers that we don't use or we don't need. So if you want to get rid of this, don't crop it. But all you have to do is just scroll down a little bit and then you see the right on. And if you move this left point a little bit to the right, you see what happens to the numbers. They are starting to disappear and only these two are remaining. So that's a quick way to do a timer. But Rico, what if I wanted to do it the other way around so that it needs to be a countdown timer? Well, let me show you. I'm going to reverse the clip. So I'm going to select the clip, right mouse button and change clip speed. And I'm going to click this reverse speed change. Now it's backwards. We need to do the same thing for the text. But the thing is, if you right click it, you can't do anything to it. So you need to make it a compound clip first. Let's keep it this name, create. And now we have a video clip of that text file. And then if we hit the right mouse button, go to change clip speed and then select reverse speed, you will see that it starts or it starts higher and then it counts down. There's an easier way to do this as well. So let's undo that by hitting Ctrl Z. Now, if I click the right mouse button and I go to change clip speed, it's now gone. So what you can do is because we've reversed the speed here, we can just go to copy. And then if we select the top one, we go to the right mouse button, paste attributes, and then we're going to select the video attributes. I'm going to hit apply. And now the same thing has happened as you can see it starts to reverse. Now keep in mind if you use this method, so paste attributes and you're selecting a video attributes, everything is going to be added. And that's it for this video. I hope you all like it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this video. My name is Rico Richardson and I'll see you next time. Doei!